Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and I did a thing. <laughs> I purchased a pen. Um, so this is one I've had my eye on for a while, and I happened to be scrolling through YouTube, and uh, one of the YouTubers I follow, her name is Charmaine Dulac, and um, she has a pen collection that the kind of vibrant aesthetic is very similar to what I like. Um, and she had a pen in her collection that she was looking to sell. Um, and it was a pen that I have been looking to purchase. And so I was able to get it at less than the retail price because it is very slightly used. Um, and free shipping. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Charmaine. I um, am somewhat pleased that this pen did not match or stay in your collection and that I get to be the new owner of it. So um, I did open it up just, uh, I really wanted to look at it and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to film this right away. So um, it was packaged in this really nice pink mailer. She has her uh, logo sticker that says Love Charmaine on it, um, which I really like. The process for purchasing was really, really easy. And she wrapped it in bubble wrap that was taped. And so this is a new brand for me. I do not own any Banu's. I think for me personally, many of their patterns are a little bit loud. And this is one pattern that just, um, I really loved. And I almost purchased it a many, many, many months ago, but then it was out of stock. It got back in stock, but I prioritized other things. Um, and then again, with the resale price being less I couldn't not get it so um, and I had some money set aside for actually I had the money set aside to buy this from Goulet because it is a Goulet pen exclusive you might be able to figure out what it is now if you do timestamp it put it in the comments um, and so because I was able to get it for less than what I had I uh, squirreled away, I um, now have already some money towards another pen or ink purchase. Um, so it was sent in the original packaging, which is really nice. So it's got the Bennu box with the gold foil. It has the sleeve that the pen is in. There's a cartridge that it came with, the information lifetime warranty, and it has the um, little paper pieces there. So thank you, Charmaine, for keeping all the original packaging. That makes me happy. And let's open this up. So the Banu pen that I got was the Goulet Pen Exclusive Iced Caramel Latte. And this is the Euphoria body style. So it has a silver clip, which actually you can see. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but that goes down. Um, it's a good clip. It says Bennu right here. Um, it is, I think this is called faceted, where it has the flat edges. So that is, that does, um, function as a roll stop, which is really nice. It's not gonna roll off. Now really quickly, I'm gonna throw some pens next to it just so you can see size comparison. And the first thing that I'm gonna pull is the Esterbrook SD. So it's a fairly similar length as the Esterbrook SD, but it's a little bit of a thicker body style. Um, and it does taper towards the end. So the end is still, I think, a um, well, this end here is probably very similar to the Astrobrook body. Uh, the next one that I will pull over is my Noveler Nautilus. So 
So again, a very similar length as that pen. And next up, I will pull a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So you can definitely see a difference there. This is much longer. Um, and let me think one more that I can pull. I have a Twisby Eco Go. Um, little more similar in kind of body thickness for this, but it is shorter. Um, actually, well, <laughs> while I'm here, I can grab a Twisby Diamond 580, which let me just close the piston. It has a little bit more length than the Twisby Eco, or sorry, Twisby Diamond 580. All right, let's move those aside. And now let's open it and let's see how many turns it takes. So we have one, two, uh, two and a half. Two and a half turns. And here's the nib. So I think this is my first Schmidt nib. And this is in I believe it's a fine nib. I'm just thinking Charmaine is one that really likes fine um, nibs, so I would be very surprised to hear it was anything different. And I wonder if that means fine right there. I can go back and look and get clarity, but I'm fairly certain. Now, can this be posted? It can. That is exceptionally long on posted. That's actually a really nice length. It's very light in weight. And when I was reading the description on Goulet Pens, they talked about the changing of color. So this is the espresso and this is the crema and this is the uh, kind of milk that you're adding to it and the changing of colors um, and that the, the gold sparkle is purposely placed where the um, espresso meets, well maybe this is the milk and that's the crema, but I think this is the crema, where the espresso meets the crema and then where the dairy meets the, the crema, that's where the sparkle is. Um, I love coffee, <laughs> love coffee. I can drink it black, not my preference. If I have the option to add something to it, I will. Um, I talk in some of my planning videos about uh, Chobani dairy-free sweet and creamy. Creamer is one of my favorites right now. Um, I do like getting a latte. I will occasionally get an iced latte, but I very much think coffee is meant to be consumed warm, um, otherwise it's diluted, and why would you drink something diluted? But some uh, sometimes there's just nothing better than an iced beverage. Um, I actually did get a, I treated myself to Starbucks recently and I got a um, sweet cream cold brew, uh, which was really delicious. Um, and so, I thought it would be fitting to ink this up with Colorverse Coffee Break. Since this is the iced caramel latte, let's go ahead and take a color break. Um, so this is an ink that I have swatched, but I have not yet put it into a pen. So I'm really excited about that. And so I have my sample right here that I got from Van Ness Pens. And Van Ness does really good size samples. So I'll definitely be able to try this out 
end up anew, maybe re-ink it if, uh, you know, if I really like the combination, but I can also put it in other pens like my Pelican M400, which I love to put browns in. Um, so this does come with a converter. So without further ado, it's really pretty. I'm just, I like the detail work on the nib. It's very nice. And let me clean up the mess I made. I just use a white t-shirt. Um, I bought a pack of white t-shirts for my son and um, I call them my nephews. They're not my blood relative or marriage relative nephews, but uh, they are my chosen family. They are the children of my chosen family. Like I said, I call them my nephews. You see a little bit off center. Okay. Um, yeah, so I bought a package of t-shirts and I had a bunch of extras. So now I'm just using them to wipe up. All right, so that is inked. Didn't make too, too much of a mess. And next I'm gonna grab a notebook by Galen Leather Co. It's their everyday notebook with Tomoe River paper. And Gonna go to this next page and let's try writing with this. All right, so today, nope, it doesn't start with an A. Is September 9th. Like I said, this is my first time writing with a Schmidt nib. So as I'm writing this, I'm thinking what differences I'm noticing about a Schmidt nib versus a Yovo versus um, a, you know, Novelar has their own steel nib. Um, so I'm trying to think of that and it definitely is a nice, that I would definitely think that this is a fine, but I want to look that up first. Um, so I'm not fibbing. So this is a the new and Goulet pen collaboration. It's a Euphoria and the colorway is called Iced Caramel latte. I do say caramel. I know some people say caramel, um, but I do say caramel. And the ink is uh, Colorverse. Uh, 
coffee break. So it's it's writing wet. It is putting down a good amount of ink. There is a little bit of um, maybe some hard starts. I'm just thinking right right here in the R. It didn't it didn't really um, catch until a little bit in. Let's see if I can. So you can see where I started to write the R, and it's a, a moment before the ink starts really flowing. I'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, look how look how wet that is. You can see as the light catches it, it lays down ink. And what I'm finding is I do like a fine nib, a finer and extra fine nib, but I like it to be wet. Um, I've said this before on my channel, and I will keep saying it. I love watching ink dry. It's one of the things that brings me a lot of joy. And so having a, a wet writer, a nib that wets nice, that writes nice and wet, um, it, it brings me a lot of joy in the writing process. This is not a flex nib, but with a little bit of pressure, you can get it to open just a little bit. That's scratchy. That is scratchy. That is scratchy. Yep. <laughs> I'll just keep saying it because apparently that is going to make it different, right? Um, this is not one that I would do a, a reverse writing. I feel like it's actually tearing the paper fibers. But what I am intrigued about is the that which is why I keep doing these strokes. The down strokes seem to be thicker than the cross strokes. And I've been doing a little bit of looking into different types of uh, nib grinds. Like the Esterbrook has a journaler and a scribe and they just came out with a I think it's pronounced techo, but it could be pronounced techo for sure. Um, I want someone else to do a video on it so they can say it and then I can have more confidence in how I'm pronouncing it. But um, so I've been looking at getting some different custom grinds for nibs. And this to me seems a little bit like, I think it's uh, the architect nib, which is, I think it's the scribe nib from... Estherbrook is like the architect where the down strokes are, or sorry, mm, I'm going to stop talking. I haven't done my research enough to speak about this. From an educated standpoint, there are different nib grinds. The fact that the down strokes are different than the cross strokes just makes me wonder if this is a little bit bordering on a special nib grind or maybe this is just how Schmidt nibs are and I just need to get used to it. So I'm going to really enjoy getting to know this pen um, and hopefully it is a fun experience. Oh, I like the shading on that ink. Yeah, 
So it definitely lays down a good amount of ink, which shows off the shading properties. And you can see here, this is a much lighter color than it is here. So that's some really nice shading. Just out of curiosity, ooh, I was acting like it was posted and it's not. I wanna see, this is an Estherbrook SD with an extra fine nib. I'm just intrigued. So I'm not seeing as big of a difference in the, the line width or size with the Esterbrook SD versus the Banu. And that time I tried to be consci conscientious about the amount of pressure I was putting so that I knew I wasn't perhaps lay, you know, putting a little bit more pressure doing downstrokes than I was cross strokes. I always write cursive really slowly because I'm used to doing brush lettering and focusing on putting the pressure in on the downstrokes and lifting the pressure on when going up. Um, so now I find that when I try to write cursive, I write exceptionally slow. So that is something that I am going to be working on. Um, I also don't know that I remember some of my letters. Like, I think that's a T. Could be an F. <laughs> I'll look that up. I also know I do my B's differently because of that breast lettering. Lovely. Lovely. It is a little bit of a softer nib. So you can get that little bit of give to it. You can, I can see as I'm writing that the tines lift a little bit. Um, so it's a very responsive nib. I like it a lot. just want to write things. I just want to keep using it. It's so beautiful. Um, I also noticed that I chose a lot of brown inks this month and my Hobonichi cousin has uh, the month of September, the, the grid and such on the pages are brown. So I didn't make that connection until a few days into the month. Um, gave me a little moment of a chuckle. Ooh, apologies, I have yawned a few times in this video. I'm a little tired. A little bit of skipping. I'll just keep an eye on that and make sure. Make sure it's not something I should be concerned about.
could be how I'm holding it. I think that actually might be it. All right. Well, I am going to add this to my monthly page and my Hobonichi cousin because this will be a pen that I will now be writing with this month. Um, and you'll probably be seeing this more. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm very happy that this is the Banu that I have. So thank you, Charmaine, for selling it. I appreciate it. The shipping was really fast um, and it was a really easy process. So um, that is going to conclude my video for today. All right. Bye.